Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Quick little scenario for you. Let's say you're trying to do an early raid with three scouts. You're headed toward their woodline, planning to pick off a villager or two, and suddenly you see a spearman. Some strong instincts kick in, telling you that spears hard counter your cavalry, and not to take that fight. At the same time, the villagers look awfully exposed, and you think to yourself that if you could fight the spearman and win with even a couple of scouts left, you'd get free access to harass his unprotected villagers. You've only got a second to make the decision, so do you think your scouts can win that fight? First off, let's break down the units involved. Spearmen have 45 HP and 3 attack, along with 15 extra bonus damage against cavalry. They cost 60 resources each. The scout cavalry, in contrast, cost 80 resources, and have the same 45 HP, but with a slightly higher base attack of 5 in the Feudal Age, and a faster attack rate. Without blacksmith upgrades, scouts are taken out in 3 hits, and spearmen are taken out in 9. That means even without bloodlines, a group of 3 of your units can successfully down a spearman before you lose any scouts. Even if you have a slight delay in getting the scouts sorted out with a bit of confusion and bumping, this still happens consistently. The damage scout cavalry ends with 9 HP left out of 45. That's 73% of the scout's collective HP, meaning 64 resources of value were lost, only slightly more than the cost of the spearmen. So from a cost efficiency lens, this isn't really a terrible trade in isolation though not necessarily a good trade either. Of course, the point wasn't necessarily for this to be cost effective. It was actually to allow your scouts to start raiding, which eliminating the spearmen is now going to allow you to do. If you're planning to get bloodlines soon, but don't have it yet, that would be a good reason not to take the engagement though. The 36 HP they lose becomes 52 after you get that upgrade, essentially magnifying any damage they received earlier. Now, of course, armor has a slight effect on the outcome here too. If the Spearman has the first defensive armor tech, you'll still win, but always lose one of the scouts. Of course, if you have forging yourself, it would cancel out that effect. The Spearman having the forging tech or the scouts having the first armor upgrade actually don't affect the outcome at all. A nice illustration of why for infantry, the armor tech is the higher priority. So there's a lot to balance, but so far a 3 vs 1 seems like a pretty equal exchange. But what happens with some other ratios? Let's set up a new scenario where we have some spears and scouts and play around with them using patrol units from AIs that won't interfere in their units combat. I'm also going to give the infantry the first armor upgrade to make sure the results are conservative and also assume you don't have bloodlines or blacksmith upgrades since they can't really be assumed unless you're going to be making a lot of scouts. To start with equal numbers, as you should expect, spears win easily. In fact, the spears typically end with more than half their HP left. Even with all upgrades on your scouts, this is never a fight you want to take. And that's a big point, you really need a significant numbers advantage to even think about engaging spearmen in the first place. But let's bump it up now to a 2 to 1 ratio. At that point, the fight can go either way. If you do a good job focusing down units one at a time, you can sometimes survive with a few very damaged scouts left. From a cost analysis though, this is still a very bad fight. It's also a bad fight from a tempo and momentum perspective, since you're throwing away your ability to put pressure on your opponent. Even with bloodlines, you're still losing resources in the long run. Now let's take a look at 3 vs 1. This is a fight we've already seen scouts can take, even without upgrades, and still have a fairly balanced trade of resources. The real value in something like this though would be if it allowed you to raid immediately afterward. Again, if the Spearman has the defense upgrade, you can count on losing a scout, or if we double the scale to 6 vs 2, something roughly equivalent. This is a fight I'd be hesitant to recommend without upgrades, unless, like I said, you can immediately follow it up with raiding, but with bloodlines, I think it's safe to take, and is even going to pay off with extra pressure and put your opponent on the back foot. Remember, they're often not expecting you to fight their spearmen at all. And just for completeness sake, adding in a fourth scout allows you to take out a spearman without any units lost. One thing I want to point out here is the number of units isn't actually as important as their collective HP. Units take damage from all kinds of sources, and opponents can target those weakened units, so four damage units should be considered more like two or three when trying to decide if an exchange is going to be favorable. So the big takeaway for me is that yes, in the original scenario, you absolutely could survive that 3 vs 1 exchange, even assuming you don't have bloodlines. Without bloodlines, it's a bit questionable unless you're immediately able to make use of it, and probably a bad idea if the scouts are even a little bit damaged. With bloodlines though, the numbers suggest it's a decent fight you can take. 
A 4 to 1 ratio, even with a bit of light damage, is also going to be safe, and ideally might even surprise your opponent into over-investing in more spearmen, slowing down their economy and keeping them on the defensive. Scouts are great because your opponent can't force you to take engagements with them in Feudal Age, so you really get to decide when a fight is going to be in your favor and which times you just want to run away. There's also other little things you can do with your scout, like hold back the damaged ones at first, or run away with a scout that a spearman is targeting. A good player will actively micro their spearmen to focus down your lowest HP unit. They'll also try to position their units to get hill advantages, which can have an effect on the outcome by magnifying their attack and minimizing the damage they take. On the flip side, as the defender in these situations, ideally keeping the spearmen close enough to villagers that they can assist can be useful if you're getting ganged up on, or have spearmen close enough to each other that they can reinforce. Of course, don't overdo it with the spearmen, just two or three strategically placed on some exposed resources is usually enough to deter a small group of scouts. If you're making more than that, you're slowing your economy down and making yourself vulnerable to archers. Also, don't get the infantry armor upgrade with two or three spearmen. It makes a slight difference in these tests, but there's probably better things you can do with 100 food, like going to the castle age, where you have much more useful units than spearmen. Obviously, things like walling off your exposed areas with houses and buildings can also be a major way to prevent scout raiding, but is really getting outside the topic of the video, so I think I'll end it there. There are a lot of factors to juggle, but hopefully you've picked up a new little tool for your tool belt when it comes to feudal age warfare, and maybe have a bit better idea of how scouts match up against spearmen. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.